Thailand Update by Bo n a t h a m a h a n a 25th of August 2019. Hello, this is my first podcast in English with the objective to keep you updated with the news I think important for Thailand over the week. And for this week, I have picked two news. And I have to say sorry that both of them are rather sad news. It's all about death. The first one would be the death of Abdullah i s a m u s a a 34 y e a r o l d man who passed away this morning after spending 35 f days in the ICU. He is a man from p a t t a n i Province who lived at his home. With a wife, two little children, and a deaf mother, and one day in late July, he was taken by the soldiers to the military camp for some questioning without any charge. Because in the deep south of Thailand, which is under the martial law now, the soldiers are authorized to take anyone at any time to the questioning at the military camp, without. Any charge against them, and without lawyers, um, without any lawyer, without informing their family where they are taking the person to, and that's what happening over the last ten, more than ten years in the deep south of Thailand. What happened to Abdullah after taken to the military camp was that after nine hours. When he was taken to the camp, he was in good health. After nine hours, he is taken out as an unconscious man to the hospital, where he is put in the ICU. And the doctor said, um, in Thai, if I translate directly to English, the symptom is called swollen brain. Basically, his brain stop working properly, and he is totally unconscious. And the doctor said. The cause for this symptom can be two possibilities. One is that the person has some illness before that lead to the brain stop working. Another is the suffocation, where the brain is lack of oxygen, and it happened. As the result, he's been unconscious for the last thirty five days before pass away at four a.m. this morning. And over this whole month, there have been efforts by many organizations, um, especially human rights organization and the National Committee for Human Rights, to ask for the investigation and find out the truth of what happened to him over those nine hours in the camp. And so far, there's no answer. Today, his fun- funeral is held um, in p a t t a n i and. And it's done, and probably the family will never know what really happened with them. I think we all could guess. Um, in this week, in the middle of the week, at least two political parties will raise the question about this case in the parliament, and there are um, p r a s h a s h a t Party and the Future Forward Party. Um, they will question about what happened to them and who will be responsible and and who will compensate to his family and how soon they can do that. I think what they can do further as political parties are to f- um, push for the government to stop using the martial law in the deep south of Thailand because that's the cause of many abuses before and Abdullah is not the first case and. Maybe it's not the last if nothing is done. The next news I'd like to talk about is um, also about death, but this one is about committing suicide. Over the last week or two, at least already eight people. Uh, have committed suicide, with all of them given the same reason in the death note, and that reason is um, economic problem and poverty and death. 
in some of those cases, the suicide was done for the whole family. For example, one family, um, they have put one cooking instrument. It's, it's like uh, the container that you put some charcoal in and burn it and burn them. And they have put that in the cart so that that container can release carbon dioxide and they can just sleep forever. And that's done for one family. And for other families, um, they use other methods. Some only the leader of the family or, or the husband, the father did it. And for some, they did it for the whole family. And it appears to be the trend now when people feel so hopeless and depressed with their economic problem. And I think for now, if you just walk outside, and see what happened in the market in the department store everyone would say the same thing that the traffic is so thin and that um, basically we all just have less money in the pocket and whether or not uh, you can deal with it that's the personal issue but, but obviously it's the government issue because our economy is going down the drain and what the government is doing now is they are trying to inject money in the domestic tourism by putting money in the the welfare social social welfare card that they have given to to the poor so that they have 1000 to 1500 baht to spend on vacation as some selected um, shops or hotel and we don't know how effective that would be because when you are so poor maybe the last thing you would think of is to go on vacation I don't know um, the opposition party leader um, Kunying Sudarat Geyurapan has posted in her Facebook today suggests another method to inject the money to the country. Um, she proposed lifting the visa requirement for tourists um, from India and from China because they are um, both obviously big scale country in terms of tourists coming out of the country. And she said by lifting those visa requirement, we can easily get a big amount of tourists coming to the country. And that's the quickest way um, to inject the money um, to the ground. And she also mentioned that Japan has done that before <laughs> lifting visa requirement for Thai tourists. And they have gained a lot of money by doing so. And that's what she proposed. But obviously, she said that the government has rejected this kind of idea because they are so focused on the national security and they're not very comfortable with this idea. So let's see if they they will change their mind because so far we don't see other quick way to to solve the the immediate problem and it is very very serious now. And I think this will be another topic that will be discussed um, in this week parliament meeting which may take place in somewhere midweek. And that's the two pieces of news I'd like to mention as a wrap up for this week. I plan to do this once a week and until next time, take care and have a good week ahead.